So today, we'll start the video by looking at the night sky. I'll take a few shots of the night sky just to show you different colors that are, that are present in the different stars. So we saw a lot of different stars with different colors. But did you spot any of the green or the violet stars? I'm pretty sure the answer is no. But I'll show you a star that actually peaks in the green part of the spectrum. Here it comes. So our sun itself peaks in the green part of the spectrum. But we don't see it as green color. From Earth, we see it as a yellowish tint. And from space, we see it actually as white. So to answer this question, let's look at why stars actually emit in different colors. So the color the star emits depends upon the surface temperature of the star itself. For example, when you heat something, it starts to glow in the red part of the spectrum and as it gets hotter, it turns bluer. So this is also what happens with stars. As you increase the surface temperature of any star, it starts to glow in the bluer part of the spectrum. This thing can be explained using a black body radiation graph. This is what it looks like. This graph actually tells you what light or what radiation the star will emit at certain temperatures. For example, as you can see, the hottest stars are emitting more of ultraviolet, violet and blue part of the spectrum, whereas the cooler stars are emitting in the red part of the spectrum, infrared and red. So, th so that means hot stars should also emit in the violet and we should see violet stars as well. As you can see from the graph, the stars that peak in the ultraviolet and violet part of the spectrum will also produce a lot of blue light. Our eyes are more sensitive to the color blue than it is to violet or purple. So hence, we'll always see light coming off from a hotter star to be blue rather than violet. And this is how stars are classified according to their temperatures. So what about the stars that like our sun we talked about that emits the light in the green part of the spectrum. As you can see, green lies in the center. The stars that emit in the green, you can actually easily see that it also emits all the other colors of the spectrum. So when we are looking at that star, we are looking at the collective light coming to the star and not a single wavelength. Hence, all these lights add up to give us what we see as a white light or a white star. Hence, you will never see a green or a violet star because stars don't put out light in a single wavelength but over a range of wavelengths. Hence, all their lights add up to give us a variety of star colors that we look at. So that was it for today. Please do like the video, share the video with your friends. I hope you liked the video. Subscribe to my channel for all the future videos. And as always, Stay curious, stay awesome.